welcome back to my channel. It's Cerise here, and today's video I am reviewing the Shane Dawson Killer Merch Pig Backpack. Now this retails for 80 US dollars and my lovely friend Ali got it for me for my birthday. Thank you, Ali. And it is freaking marvelous. It is made of vegan leather and it is a beautiful pig bag. It's pink. You can also get this in black as well. And I'm going to be doing a review of the actual bag itself. Now this is not about the drama or anything, it's just about the product. So this bag is definitely a novelty item, is $80, is a bit expensive for a bag, especially US dollars, think about New Zealand dollars, it does double, so this is a very expensive bag, but it is very, very cute. So I think what we'll do is let's get reviewing. All right, so this is the bag. It's about this big. It is ginormous as well, by the way. It is absolutely huge. It's got these awesome long straps, another handle up here, and also some zips. And this is what the detailing on the front looks like. So in the ears it's got a little bit of foam to kind of make them a little bit bigger. And then also the snout is actually a front pocket. See? So that's what the front pocket looks like there. As for the quality of the inside, the inside bit is that kind of plasticky material. Then you've got the vegan leather as that side there. So this pocket seems like it's pretty Pretty nice, pretty safe. Um, the detailing is rose gold, so all the accents are a nice rose gold color. And it also has two zips, so you can open it up by popping the two zips down. Now this is what the inside looks like. There is a little pocket at the back which does have a Shane Dawson logo on the inside there. So it does have the Shane Dawson logo. Um, what is really weird though is that you can actually pull out all the lining. So you can pull out all the lining so it doesn't really hold its shape. So you've kind of got to push all that lining back in there to kind of make its shape again. But that only pocket is just that back pocket there. And then the side has little vegan leather protectors to open it up a bit wider. So it does open up quite wide as well. So if we zip these up. Now this one did arrive in the mail from Ali, so it is a little bit squished. So if you don't keep it, like if you put it in the back of a wardrobe and squish it up, it probably will lose its nice shape. So you've kind of got to put some paper in it or something just to keep the shape a little bit bigger. Now with these straps, the straps are adjustable. There's also the accents there with the Shane Dawson logo. Now this is not a Jeffree Star item, this is a Shane Dawson item with Killer Merch, which is Jeffree Star's side little hustle. So, just letting you guys know, this is not a Jeffree Star product, it's a Shane Dawson product. So, it has the two straps here, and then also, it has a buckle to adjust how large you want it. Like, how long you want it to be. I wish that it would go a little bit more up because that's kind of the longest it'll be, but I haven't actually tried it on to see what kind of length it will be, so I'm going to put it on the tightest length and see what she looks like on. I really love this bag as well. I'm just trying to keep all my emotions out just so I can do this, like, little showing off. But, all right, that's... Put it on. It's so cute. All right, this is what it looks like on the front. Super cute. And then... This is it from the back. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I think that on the tightest one is like the perfect height. Because if you see there the height of that, that's a really good height having it on the tightest one there. But yeah, for the bag itself being $80, I de definitely think for the materials that it's made out of, it's definitely worth that price point as well. Again, you are paying for a name as well. But I think for the vegan leather, vegan cruelty free, I think it's a really cool product to have. Also, it's very pink, it's very elegant, it would fit a lot of stuff in it. Like, definitely a lot of stuff would fit in here. And just the detailing of it with the rose gold, it's not your usual gold or silver, it's a little bit different. And you've also got your different colours of the leather as well. And if you love pink and you love pigs, this is a really good product to have. But I think for quality wise, like, look at this! You can push this down, move it side to side. I think quality wise it seems like it's really good quality, seems like it would be really durable and I feel like if you're in the rain it's not going to seep through either, you can, you can feel how hard out it is. But yeah, so, so I think for $80 it's not an unreasonable price. I did say at the start that $80 was a bit steep for a backpack but this is, you know, you got to think about the quality of the product and the quality of the leather and everything, it's not just like a canvas bag. So I think for $80 for the price point it's definitely 
a good price point, I think. I really, okay, that, let's get emotions out of here now. I actually really like this bag, I think it's really cute. Also, the tassels have nothing on it, it's just a pink tassel. But I actually really love this bag, I love that it's rose gold as well. It also matches my chain body bag as well. So honestly, you guys can see that I am obsessed with the pig print as well. So yeah, this bag is definitely on my alley and I really do like it. And for the price point, yeah, it's worth it. And it's a good quality bag as well. But that is kind of the in-depth of it. So there's no little feet on the bottom, which could be something you could add. Or uh, another thing that could be added is maybe like sticking the inside down so it's not really, you know, floaty everywhere. But as an overall, it's a good quality bag one that you don't want to squish. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this review and what you think of this bag. Also, do I need it in black? Bitch, I don't think so. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. And until next time, I love you guys so much and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.